So you get mad at me and call me an SOB and she treats me like a dog. I'm worried that I've had boys come to my house looking for him because he owes them money, telling me if they don't get the money that they're coming for him. I told her I need to know and that's when she broke down crying and told me that he had touched her. Welcome to Forgive or Forget. The teens on today's show have experienced a lot of pain in their young lives, and some feel that their moms are to blame for it. Our first guest, Danny Copas, is only 13 years old, but he says his mom has rejected him and left him to fend for himself. Hi, Danny. <laughs> How you doing? Fine. Yeah? Your mom, Janice, is backstage listening to us. How has she rejected you, Danny? She treats me different than her other kids, and... She calls me names like, she calls me an SOB and, and she, she doesn't really care about the way I feel and she's been in and out of my life and well, they got divorced when I was about one. Your mom and dad got divorced when you were one? Yeah. And she started coming every other weekend to see me. And then she stopped coming when I was about four or five. Mm -hmm. And she stopped for about two years. She stopped coming to see you after about four or five? For two whole years? For about two years. And then she started coming when I was about seven or eight. And she called me and said that she was going to come Saturday. And she came and she came about another year and a half and she stopped coming about yeah. nine months <laughs> and she just stopped so you miss her yeah what about your parents relationship it's not really that good my mom gets mad at my dad for something mm -hmm. she just won't she'll neglect me she takes it out on you <laughs> oh Danny tell me what kind of things your mom says to you can you do can you do that she'll get mad at me and call me a an SOB, and she treats me like a dog. Really? Janice, what's going on? You gotta try and tell me. You gotta try to explain it to me. I don't treat him any different. If nothing else, I treat him better because I don't have him. But he says that you stopped, you stopped speaking it to him for a whole year, Janice. He made that decision, not me. How could he make, how could he make that decision? He's 13 years old. Last time he was at my house, when I make him behave and do what he's supposed to do like my other children, he knows I can't punish him like my other children because of his father having custody. And I'm not allowed to. I do treat him different. I treat him better than my other children because I can't treat him any different or I end up in trouble for it. Is it true that you call him these names? No. He's the one that cusses me out and tells me what a I am. And Is it? Tell me, tell me, does she call you these names? Yes, she does. Janice. You can't argue with a 13-year-old boy. He is your 13-year-old son. You are the adult. Yes, you can't is. say that he calls you bad names. Yes, I can. And if you haven't been there for him, if there have been chunks of time when you haven't been there for him, he's going to be angry at you. Do you understand that? Oh, yeah. Janice... There's someone here I, I, I'd also like to talk to. You're Danny Sr. Right. Yeah, would you stand up for me? Can you tell us what's going on here? 
Well, it's basically like Danny said. I mean, there's been times, like she went 21 months without coming and seeing him, then she came back around for a little while, and which she said I took her visitations away. That's not true. That's, I mean, I can show you court records. That's never happened. I can't and then uh, she went a nine month period without seeing him, then she came back again. Then she went another year without seeing him, then she came back again. Now this time it's been a year again. Uh, he called her New Year's Day and asked her if he could come and see her, and she hung up on him. And he he called back again. Her boyfriend told her told him that she wasn't at home. Well, then he tried to call back later that day, and she'd put a call block on the phone where he couldn't call her. And uh, then he went to my mother's house, which is his grandmother, and tried to call her from there. Well, she put a call block on that number also, so he cannot call her. And this is this is this is shaking me up a little bit. Is this true, Janice? Yes, because of the things he says to me over the phone. Let me ask you a question. Are you supportive of their having a relationship, the two of them? Yes, I think she needs to be in his life. I of mean, course she needs to be in his life. Absolutely. She's his mother. I mean, it, it hurts me to watch him cry you know, when she hangs up on him. You know, I mean, it's, it's heartbreak. You raised Danny. Yes, since he's been a year old, yes. Danny, you have a wonderful father. You get to know him a little better. What'd you say, Janice? I said get to know him a little better. <laughs> He's the one that stopped me from seeing Danny in the first place. But it, you, you can't put Danny in the middle of your problems. I don't put Danny in the middle. Because no matter what, Danny is 13 years old. And I'm the one that pays for it also. But I have my other three, but I don't have him. <laughs> And it's because of his father I don't have him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, there's court papers that show that she has visitations every other weekend. If I tried to stop her, she could enforce it through the courts. So I, you know, I've never tried to stop her. What about when you go and make accusations about my 19-year-old Danny to stop me from seeing my son? Danny, I can't tell you how much courage I think you have just coming here and sitting here and telling me and everybody else your story. And I don't, I, it's hard to know in a short amount of time exactly what's happened to you, but you're a tremendous young man. I mean, watching you, you're, t you're truly a tremendous young man. You brought your mom here. Will you turn around, please, and, and tell her what you want from her? I want an apology for the way you've treated me for, the, for these 13 years and I want you to treat me like your son instead of like a dog. Danny, you are my son and I love you very much Janice, and I've never stopped. Janice, listen to what he's saying. He had the courage to come here in front of all of us. He's 13 years old, Janice. You cannot forget he is a little boy. He's big, but he's a little boy. And you can't forget that. So sit there and listen to what he said to you. <laughs> Danny, you want to tell your mom anything else? I love you and I want to see you. But I can't if you don't want to come. And, <laughs> My dad's taking me out there, and you haven't been there. Janice, please just take this time and think about what your son said. We'll be right back, okay? I told her I need to know. I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to hate you or hate him, but I need to know. Has he ever done anything that's not appropriate? And that's when she broke down crying and told me that he had touched her. You've tried to forget your hepatitis C, but you shouldn't forget this. Hep C is a serious disease. Left untreated, it can lead to liver damage and potentially liver cancer but you haven't been forgotten. There's never been a better time to rethink your hep C because people like you may benefit from scientific advances that could help cure your hep C. 
Visit hepcihelp.com or call a Hep C educator to help prepare you for a conversation with your Hep C specialist. I thought Activia was for big digestive issues until I realized our body handles a lot. 1,100 meals a year. Mm, 730 rushed snacks. Add 300 stressful decisions. No wonder our digestive system sometimes acts up. So try Activia. Enjoying Activia twice a day for four weeks may help reduce the frequency of floating gas discomfort or rumble. 4211. But you brought her here, and all you did, you just poured your heart out purely, and that's all you can do. And let's hope she was listening to you, okay? All right? You did a great job. Welcome back. 13-year-old Danny Copas says it breaks his heart that his own mom is rejecting him. Is she going to stop treating him like a stranger? It's time to find out, Danny. You ready? I know that this has been very hard for you. Ready to go to the door? Okay, we're all with you. Let's go. Okay, Daddy, take a deep breath. Okay, let's open the door. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Do you understand? But you were doing the right thing. You did the right thing. Yeah. Didn't he do the right thing? You were so much more mature than your own mother. Do you understand that? I want to talk to your mom and I want to find out what's, what's up with her. Janice? Yes? Why not? Why weren't you there? Because I don't owe him an apology. I've always been there for him. Just like I'll always be there for him. His father in the audience was talking about court documents. I have them right here. And I have ones where he took my child from me. I have never showed these to Danny Jr. Because I didn't think he was ready. How are you feeling? But I have them right here. You know it's illegal for him to stop. I, I have a letter from Danny Jr. that I just got a few days ago where he cusses me out and tells me that he knows I don't love him and I don't care about him and that's not true. When he comes to my house, he has to know that I am his mother and in order for me to do my job as his mother, he has to respect my decisions and let me act as his mother. You've lived with your father for so long that that's the only one you want to listen to and that's okay. You should love your daddy and you should listen to your father. But when you're with me, you have to love me and you have to listen to me as well. I love you and I'll listen to you. And when I know you're lying to me, what do you expect me to do? Janice, are you trying to tell all of us that you were trying to protect Danny? There has been times, yes, and there was a few years ago he talked about I wasn't in his life for several years. He's right, I wasn't. Because of his father and the situation he put us in, it wasn't right for Danny Jr. It had nothing to do with his father or me. It was him. It wasn't right for him to see his mother in those circumstances or himself. This past year I haven't seen him. It was his decision because I was trying to make him mind me in my home. And instead of him telling me, okay, mom, I did wrong, or okay, mom, I'm sorry, it was, you're a b and you're a whore. And I know you don't care about me and I don't ever want to come back to your home. 
Janice. And I told him that if he couldn't learn to respect me in my home, that maybe that was best for him not to come back. But Janice, this little boy has brought you here today, and he said in front of everybody that he loves you, and he wants you in his life. If he said some inappropriate words to you, that can't stop you from seeing him. You are the adult. You are his mother. You, have, you two have got to come to something. You have to come to something, Janice, to promise him that you are going to be there for him. You're going to be his mother. He can count on you. You're going to protect him, and you're going to be in his life. Ask him how many times he ran away from his dad when he called me. Who was there for him? Janice, you're the adult. You That's are the adult. You are the and adult. Stop mother, making excuses. Be there his for mother. Him instead of his father. Be you're right. his mother. Yeah. Be his mother, Janice. And I always will be his mother. His father, or nobody else can change that because for some reason God made it that way. And God does have a plan for this. For Janice, whatever reason you it have may come be. come through the door to give your child a hug? Uh, he doesn't want me hugging him. He wants you hugging him. He wants you. Stand up now. Um, today's children are victims because the parents, when they split up, can't take control of their own feelings in their lives. So they should go for counseling and learn how to handle themselves first so they can handle their children without making their children victims in the United States. Absolutely. Absolutely. We are going to send you two back for counseling. Danny, I wish you all the luck, in, and you seem to have your father's love. I wish you the best. He and I hope, mother's love, too. I hope you show him that, Janice. I hope you really show him that. We'll be right back. I want you to forgive me for what he did to you. I want my best friend back. I love you. I'm sorry. Tuesday on an all-new Family Time. Get these women out, and they duke it out. It's an unauthorized house party. I'm not going nowhere. I got squatters rights. Could you excuse me, brother? You are infringing on my space right now. What? You should be able to hire yourself whatever assistant you want. Work life is about to get homey. Hello, this is Star Wars and White Construction. And Tony. Lisa, we got to talk. Don't play that. You're fine. It's an all-new Family Time, Tuesday, 9, 8 Central. Only on Bounce TV, our way. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. If you are on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. Call the health hotline right now for details toll-free. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to take your call. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. You may be eligible to receive these items and more at little or no cost to you as well. Call right now for details toll-free. Operators are standing by. Call 855-898-0183. That's 855-898-0183. Again, 855-898-0183. That's 855-898-0183. Attention blood thinner users. Thousands of blood thinner users may have been exposed to serious risk by these dangerous medications. If your loved one took Xarelto or Pradax and suffered serious internal bleeding, call right now. Call Nightline Legal to speak with an experienced attorney for a free consultation. If we don't win, there is no fee. There are time deadlines to file a claim, so don't wait. Call right now. Call 800-550-7329. That's 800-550-7329. Attention patients who've been implanted with an IVC filter. IVC filters are implanted into the inferior vena cava vein to prevent blood clots from traveling into the lungs, causing pulmonary embolisms. Unfortunately, these filters can fracture, move throughout the body, pierce blood vessels and organs, tilt, or become irretrievable. These failures can result in a number of serious injuries, including internal bleeding, organ damage, infection, and even death. 
If you were implanted with an IBC filter and were injured, you may be owed compensation from the manufacturer. Call the Reliant Group right now to be connected to an experienced attorney for a free consultation. You don't owe us a penny unless we're successful. Call the Reliant Group right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation for your pain and suffering. Do not delay. There are time deadlines to file a claim. If you or a loved one has been implanted with an IBC filter and the device failed, call the Relyon Group today at 800-560-7196. That's 800-560-7196. Welcome back. Danny went backstage to talk to our aftercare specialist. Our next guest knows firsthand how tough it is to get a child safely through their teenage years because her child has already experienced a lot of pain. Listen to this. My name is Belinda Morris. When I first met my ex-boyfriend, I thought I'd found a great guy. But then he did something unthinkable to my daughter Tiffany. He's getting his punishment for what he did, but I can't forgive myself for letting it happen. And my relationship with my daughter hasn't been the same since. Hi, Belinda. Hi. Welcome. Uh, Tiffany is listening backstage, and we're going to be talking to her in a moment, but tell us what happened. I had met a man that I thought would, was the answer to my prayers. He treated me and my kids like we were gold. Your daughter n never liked him from the beginning, is that true? That's true. And up until him, it was just me and her. And then it was me and her and her sister. So all the times that she was telling me she didn't like him, I thought it was because he took my attention from her. And maybe that's why she didn't like him. Mm -hmm. And back in 1997, uh, we had gone out. Him and I had gone out to celebrate my friend's birthday. And we had come home early because I'd gotten sick. And I went on in and went to bed. The next thing I know, the light's being flipped on, he's yanking the cover off of me, screaming at the top of his lungs that he's fixing to go to jail. He was screaming at me, they're taking me to jail because they're tr they think I'm trying to have sex with the 16-year-old neighbor girl. So I called the, the neighbor girl's mother, because her and I were friends, to find out what's going on. And that's when she told me that he had gone to her house while the parents were gone and tried to, to have sex with this 16-year-old girl. And she said the only reason that she was saying anything is because I have two little girls at home. And I never thought that he would do anything like that. So I called down to... Tiffany was standing out with her friend. Called over and asked Tiffany. I told her I need to know. I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to hate you or hate him, but I need to know. Has he ever done anything that's not appropriate? And that's when she broke down crying and told me that he had touched her. How did you feel? Devastated. It was like, I mean, I knew he cheated on me. He had been physical with me. But at the time, I thought that that's all I could get. Tiffany? How difficult was it for you to tell your mother what had happened to you? It was very difficult. I was afraid that she wouldn't believe me because she didn't take my emotions into consideration when I had first told her that I didn't like him. Mm -hmm. So I was mainly scared that she was just not going to believe me and that would hurt me way too much. But how did you feel when all along you knew something wasn't quite right with him. You never liked him from the beginning. How mm. I, I was really mad at my mom at first for not listening to me. I mean, I'm not mad at her for what happened. I know it, that it's not her fault, but I am mad at her for not listening to me. How does that make you feel, Belinda, to hear your daughter say that 
She was so afraid that you wouldn't believe her. It hurts. She's she's always been my best friend. Mm -hmm. She's had to grow up way too fast. Mm -hmm. And I hate myself for what he did to her. But he's in jail now. I want everybody to know he's in jail. Tell me about your relationship with your daughter now. Now it's it's real stressed. Um, before we went everywhere and did everything together, um, we've always always had a close relationship, and now all we do is fight and scream and yell at one another. And I can't live like this anymore. She can't live like this anymore. Tiffany. What do you think? I mean, you said, you've said that you're angry. I know it hurts to think that your mom wouldn't believe you. That, that has got to really, really hurt. To think that maybe, I mean, a mother seems to me to be the ultimate protector, supposedly your ultimate protector, and you had tried for so long to say, I don't like him. How, how does that feel? How does that affect your relationship with your mother? It affects it a lot. It, uh... I feel like I can't trust her to listen. Before she was with James, she listened to everything I said and took my opinions very, very seriously. And now it makes me feel like she doesn't take him seriously. It makes me feel like when I talk to her, she just says yes and, and doesn't really listen. Belinda, I know this is so hard for you. You brought your daughter here, really trying to reach out to her and make things right. Why don't you tell her what you want her to know? Tiffany, I love you. And I want you to forgive me for what he did to you. I want my best friend back. I don't want us to fuss and fight and yell and scream anymore. I love you. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Tiffany is going to think about what her mother said, and we're going to take a little bit of break. And when we come back, Tiffany's going to let us know if she can ever forgive her mother. Please stay with us. Indulge your sense of adventure and sail away to Treasure Island at the heart of the Las Vegas Strip. Now, with this limited-time offer, stay Sunday through Thursday at a special TV rate of just $79 a night. Imagine checking into your luxury room, then swinging into all the action at Center Strip. The 24-hour excitement, the ultimate pampering in our spa, the shows, the gourmet dining. It can all be yours if you call now. Plus, we'll include two-for-one tickets to the spectacle that is Mystère by Cirque du Soleil. Two-for-one buffet featuring dozens of culinary delights. Buy one, get one draft beer at the Rip Roar and Legend Gillies. And 20% off services at the soothing Alexandra Spa and Salon. Don't you deserve a Las Vegas getaway? Then dial the number on your screen or go to treasureisland.com now and get it all at the special TV rate of just $79 a night. Today in Tech News Headlines, here's a way to eliminate your cable bills without losing your favorite channels. The HD Free TV digital antenna offers free, over-the-air signals from major and even some foreign networks with no monthly fees. That's right, absolutely free! A recent federal government mandate has forced all broadcasters to switch to a digital signal over the airways. So now you can watch broadcast television in full 1080 HD for free with the HD Free TV digital antenna. Simply plug the antenna into the back of your TV and scan to instantly start receiving top-rated movies, shows, news, sporting events, and weather from major networks and more. Basic cable or satellite services can cost you up to $1,000 a year and require an annual contract. HD Free TV, there are no contracts, no monthly fees, 
and no price hikes to worry about. Just crystal clear picture and sound that's better than cable and satellite because over-the-air broadcast stations don't alter their signal like cable and satellite do. HD 3TV's thin, low-profile design makes it easy to conceal behind curtains, artwork, furniture, and more. It's perfect for apartments, a must for RVs. It's perfect for dorm rooms and boats. Great for tailgating parties. Watch the pre-show before the game. You can pay $120 per year for an extra cable box. HD 3TV lets you watch TV in as many rooms in your home as you want without paying any extra fees or running cable wires. For a limited time through today's special TV offer, you can cut the cord with the HD Free TV digital antenna for only $10. But wait, order in the next 10 minutes and we'll double your entire order for free. That's an extra antenna for the RV, boat, kids room, anywhere for free. That's two HD Free TV digital antennas, a $40 value for only $10. This offer will never be available in stores, so call or click now. Do order, call 1-800-682-7209 or go online to hdfreetv.com. Order now. I was molested as a child, and uh, I was nine when I told my mom, and she stayed with him. And I can't do that to my kid, you know. And as a result, I can't even date it now because I, I cannot let anybody get close to my kids, you know. Welcome back. Belinda Mara says it's bad enough that her teenage daughter experienced the trauma of being molested. But what makes it worse is that she feels responsible for it. I, Belinda, I know you feel responsible. I know you do. And I'm wondering that even if your daughter comes through the door, and I'm hoping, praying she will, are you going to be able to forgive yourself? It's a hard thing to do when, when somebody hurts somebody that you love. It's even worse when it's somebody that you love that hurts someone that you love. Okay. Let's go to the door. Okay. Linda, I just want to say that I know you've been through so much. That is that's so clear. And it's so hard to understand why bad things like this happen. And I just hope that your daughter's there and you can really start from here, start to heal your pain and hers. Can we open the door, please? Yeah. Would you sit down for us? I knew you were going to be there. I, I wanted you to be there. You want to make things right with your mother, don't you? Yes. You're hurt. More than angry, don't you think you're hurt? Yes. I'm very hurt that... I'm hurt that you didn't listen to me at first when I first told you that I didn't like him. But I, I'm not mad at you for what happened because it's not your fault. I'm just angry that you didn't listen to my opinion. I'm sorry that I didn't listen. What would your advice be to other kids who maybe this has happened to regarding telling their parents? Don't you think they should just run and tell and just scream it to their parents, to their mom till they listen? I do. I think that if you have been molested and you do tell your parents and they don't believe you, just to keep telling them over and over. Keep screaming it. Yeah. Scream it. You guys are here and you're, you're holding hands now and of course that makes, that makes me very happy. But you have been fighting a lot at home. Isn't that the case? Yes, we have. How will today change that for you? It'll change it for me because, I mean, it takes someone big and strong to actually come out and say I'm sorry mm -hmm. and to want to make things right. Mm -hmm. Belinda, does, does this change something for you in your life? This was the only way that I felt like I could get through to her, that 
I am sorry and that I don't hate her. She did nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure you know, Belinda, as your daughter said, coming from her, it's, it's so much more than coming from me, but she emphasized what I said, you did nothing wrong either. He did something wrong. Uh, I, I have a comment. Um, you should realize that some people are sicker than the others, and by you guys keeping the conflict amongst yourselves, you're just allowing him to continuously win. Oh, I love that. I love what you said. <laughs> Tiffany, that does make him the winner. That does make him the winner. I love what that man said. He is still in your life. Even if he's in prison now, where he should be, he is still in your life, and he is still violating you. He's violating the most precious thing you have, which is your relationship with your mother. Do you understand that? Don't let him win. Don't let him do that. So you go to your mother. If you're angry at her, you... S Tell her. To me, the best thing is talking. For me, the be that's why I love this show. The best thing is talking. If you're angry at her, you look at her and you say, you made me mad. Listen to me. You should have listened to me. But don't let him continue to violate your life by violating your relationship with your mother. Do you promise? Okay. More to come. Please stay with us. I'm worried that... I've had boys come to my house looking for him because he owes them money. And these are not just little boys wanting money. These are kids telling me if they don't get the money, that they're coming for him. Okay, guys, go, go, go. Honey, do you have the camera? Yes, I do. Oh. Hi, can I help you? Oh, I need an eyeball. We should find something here. Oh. That will work. Happy to help. Thank you. Come on. We're happy to help make your day a little better. Walmart. Oh, man. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're covered, Harry. Oh, man. You got to do it like this. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey, George. Hey, yeah. Amateurs, like a good neighbor, stay farm is there. Hi, Travis. Well, like a good neighbor, stay farm is there. I'm here for you, Lonnie. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a new one. Stay farm agents are there whenever you need them. Grandma, can you come out and play? Sure, Ellie. Oh, my. You might want to come here and help Grandma. What's the matter, Grandma? Can't you stand? Oh, sorry, honey. It's my knees. They don't work the way they used to. Does this ever happen to you? Are you on Medicare? You may qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Call the health hotline to see if you qualify. Our friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. We also have braces for your shoulder, ankle, or back pain. And if you're covered by Medicare, you may qualify for free delivery. Grandma, slow down. I can't keep up. Maybe you can use a knee brace too, Ellie. <laughs> Catch me if you can, kiddo. Call now to get your pain-relieving knee brace. Operators are standing by. Call 800-419-9625. That's 800-419-9625. Again, 800-419-9625. That's 800-419-9625. Do you have dark circles and bags under your eyes but can't find a product that works? Then stay tuned, because the next 60 seconds will change everything. Hydrolyze is a clinically proven breakthrough that has shown amazing results in people with dark circles and under eye puffiness due to aging, fatigue, even heredity. And for a limited time, we're looking for 100 men and women in this viewing area to try it risk-free. Call 1-800-967-9546. The first 100 callers are guaranteed a risk-free trial and two free gifts, so call now. Your first gift is a free full-size supply of Instant Effect to instantly reduce the look of wrinkles and under-eye bags in just 90 seconds. The perfect companion for Hydrolyze's long-term results. Your second gift is a mystery surprise you'll love. Together, they're worth over $100, but you get them free with your risk-free trial. Call immediately to see if you're one of the first 100 callers. 1-800-967-9546. If lines are busy, try again. 1-800-967-9546. 
When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay are everywhere. They're making another minimum payment. Great. Most of the money goes to us. One call to Consolidated Credit can get the debt suckers off your neck. And lower his rates. And consolidate his bills into one low payment. Consolidated Credit drives us batty. Call Consolidated Credit now. Because debt sucks. Call now. Call Consolidated Credit at 1-800-401-4119. Call now. Welcome back. Our guests today are moms and teens trying to deal with the pain that's tearing them apart. Our next guest, Shelly Smith, says her 17-year-old son is determined to destroy his life. Shelly, come on out. Hi, Shelly. How are you? Hi, Robin. Fine. Ah, oh, Brandon's backstage yes. listening to us. What's going on with Brandon? Um, Brandon has dropped out of school mm -hmm. and um, he is doing drugs as well as lying, stealing. I think drugs mm -hmm. leads to the lying and the stealing, don't yeah, you? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. The more drugs, the worse the lying, the worse the stealing. Has Brandon been doing this for a while? Yes. Um, as a child, he was very good. He was into sports. He liked school. Mm -hmm. About 10 years old, he started to not like school. Um, didn't want to do sports anymore. I started finding a drug paraphernalia in his room. At 10? Yes. You tried to move, I know, even to get yes, away from this problem. we moved out of state mm -hmm. um, two different times. It would take him a couple weeks and he was hanging out with Well, the only thing crowd. with moving to get away from a problem is that you take yourself with you. He would be there with him every time. You can't move to get away from a problem. You'd have to deal with Brandon. Exactly. What about the handgun, Shelly? Um, Brandon uh, got together with some of his friends. Mm -hmm. They uh, went to a sporting goods store and found a bunch of boxes on a dock. Brandon then took the boxes to his friend's house. Um, they um, unpacked them and found guns. Instead of returning it or taking it to the police, Brandon sold it to a known drug dealer for $20 to get rid of it. Um, Brandon. Yes? You know that's illegal. You know that's going to lead to trouble. What's going on? I was scared and I wanted to get rid of it so that I wouldn't get in trouble. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work. <laughs> what about the drugs, Brandon? Well, I haven't been doing drugs for a while now. I have a new girlfriend that has a baby and she told me that if I was going to be doing that kind of stuff that she didn't want me to be around and I love her a lot and I want to be with her so I made up my choice and I'm trying to change. So you've cleaned up your act. Yeah? I just want to say... Has he, Mom? I want to say something. Brandon is... As you can look at him and see, he's got those nice, sweet blue eyes. And I'll tell you something, he can con you. Mm -hmm. Just the other day, he came to my house and he was high. Mm -hmm. Are you worried about him? I'm worried that I've had boys come to my house looking for him because he owes them money. And these are not just little boys wanting money. These are kids mm -hmm. telling me if they don't get the money, that they're coming for him. Oh. And it's he's scary. already had his nose broken once, by, hasn't he? Yes, just uh, in right before Thanksgiving, his oh. face was, his whole nose was crushed mm -hmm. from owing money. Tell Brandon what you want. Brandon, I love you very much. And I want you to straighten up. I want you to stop your lying. I want you to be serious and tell me that you are going to stop. I don't want the police to call me one day and say that you are dead or you're going to prison, Brandon. Your life is going to be, you're not going to have a life. You're almost 18 and you've got a responsibility as an adult. What are you going to do with your life? Just flush it down the toilet? Or are you going to change and show me that you're going to change? I'm begging you, Brandon. Brandon, take this time to hear what your mother said. I see you already thinking. 
please take this time. And when we come back, we're going to find out if Brandon's willing to change his ways. We'll be right back. Attention parents and grandparents of young children. Gerber Life is accepting applications for their affordable grow-up plan. The grow-up plan gives your child $10,000 in whole life insurance protection now, then doubles automatically to $20,000 later at no extra cost. Free information will be sent to parents and grandparents who call now. Help give your child a head start for just pennies a day. Don't wait. Call now for free information. Call 1-800-978-0447 or go to growupplan.com. This is an important medical warning. The FDA has issued a public health advisory for all people taking the type 2 diabetes drug, Invokana. The warning states that Invokana may lead to diabetic ketoacidosis, a serious condition where the body produces high levels of blood acids called ketones that may require hospitalization. If you or a loved one have taken Invokana and have been diagnosed with kidney failure or hospitalized with ketoacidosis, call the law offices of Jacoby and Myers today. I saw his face. I, I know you're saying he says it a lot, and but he did seem to be listening. I, I think he's listening, but and I think sometimes in his heart he really wants to. It's just that it's so hard that he gives up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's not worth it to him. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the door. Okay, Shelly, brought him a long way, and I hope he heard you. Let's open the door. Hi, Brandon. Hello. I'm glad you were you were there. Does that mean you heard your mom? Why are you crying, Brandon? Because I hurt my mom so much. Can you show me that you're really sorry? If you really try, you gotta really try. You got two brothers that look up to you, Brandon. And Chris is following right after you, and you know it. It's gonna be hard for me this time to really believe you. Really hard. Look how many times. I've asked you to stop and you, we talk and everything seems all right and then you go right back to it, right? I just want you to understand. I know you look at it sometimes and think it is not all that bad. You don't really do things that's that wrong. But you gotta look at it from my point of view and see that you're going down the wrong road. And I love you. Brandon, I feel like I have to ask you a really tough question, and I, I think it's just the beginning of getting to where you need to be, though. Are you still using drugs? Occasionally. So that means yes, right, Brandon? Do you think the problem's bigger than you? I mean, it's bigger than you. Do you think you need some help? I don't think it's that I need help. I think that it's the reasons that I use them is what I need taken care of. Are we talking about something a little bit more than pot, Brandon? You've tried other things, I've Brandon. I've tried other things, but I don't use them all the time. Just sometimes. But see, sometimes, using them sometimes and using them occasionally leads to 
more and more and then every day and then the next thing you know there's no turning back don't you think Brandon it's like once he gets in that crowd that like with this new thing ecstasy drug he gets in the crowd he wants to do the ecstasy drug you get in the crowd with the LSD you do the LSD you get in the crowd that does the pot it's like a never-ending circle so who knows when you're gonna be with the crowd that's doing the other stuff again right it's time to be honest though Brandon I think that's what your mother was asking it's time to be honest and I think it it's a little bit bigger than you I think it's time to get some help and it's okay to need help we all need it it's okay. Brandon, we've been in, in touch with a drug treatment center in your hometown and the help is there waiting for you will you please say yes to that <coughs> It's okay. It really is. It's okay to need help. <laughs> Shelly, you came a long way to reach your son, and I think you really have. I hope you have, but I commend you. You, you, you did a lot. You obviously have a wonderful relationship with, with your son. We'll be right back. Today on Bounce, it's the Rocky Countdown. What's your prediction for the fight? Hey. He doesn't know it's a show. He thinks it's a fight. Rocky Five. He wants to get you and me in the ring. Four. I must break you. Three. Hey, fool. You ready for another beat? Two. Come November, you mind. And the original. You get a shot at the title. The Rocky Countdown. No pay. No pay. Today, starting at 1 noon central, only on Bounce. TV our way. Sleep. Remember when it welcomed you like a friend? Then it became more elusive. But why? When you have insomnia, it may affect the wake neurotransmitters in your brain, disrupting your wake and sleep messages. Balsamra is a prescription medicine for adults who have trouble falling or staying asleep. Balsamra is thought to help turn down wake messages by targeting and inhibiting the action of orexin, a neurotransmitter that plays a central role in sending wake messages. Only Balsamra works this way. Do not take Balsamra if you have narcolepsy. When taking Balsamra, don't drive or operate heavy machinery until you feel fully awake. Walking, eating, driving, or engaging in other activities while asleep without remembering it the next day have been reported. Balsamra should not be taken together with alcohol. Abnormal behaviors may include aggressiveness, confusion, agitation, or hallucinations. The temporary inability to move while falling asleep or waking up and temporary leg weakness have also been reported. In depressed patients, worsening depression, including risk of suicide, may occur. Alcohol may increase these risks. Side effects include next day drowsiness. Ah, <sighs> sleep. Ask your doctor about Belsanra. Our house rule is I cook, you clean. So we love one skillet savory ranch chicken. Take a packet of Hidden Valley Original Ranch, saute chicken, and add fresh peppers, beans, and rice. And you've got a meal where everyone wins. Hidden Valley it. All new Dirt Snuggler. The Dirt Snuggler gently removes dirt while polishing the floor at the same time. Why would you want to treat dirt gently? This isn't cleaning and polishing, is it? No. But we both know what does. Pine Saw. A real clean. No gimmicks. Everybody wants cheap airfare. But where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines. And they're so low, you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call right now, 800-230-6546, 800-230-6546, 800-230-6546, that's 800-230-6546.
like to thank all of our guests and all of you for joining us today. Raising a teenager these days is a tough job that's only getting tougher. If you're struggling with a difficult teen, give us a call. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. The Newlywed Game is a show for grown folks. Viewer discretion is advised. From New York! If you're a fan... Plus a free modem, all for $44.90 a month for one year. Plus you can even add HBO Now and Hulu. It's time for freedom. It's time for cord cutters to rejoice. Call 1-888-687-3551 now. Optimum. Let's connect more. Guapo doesn't know he's eating natural food made with real quality ingredients, no soy, wheat, or corn. All he knows is there will be no crumb left. PetSmart has a wide selection of natural foods. Save up to $5 on select bags of Blue Buffalo Wilderness and Natural Balance Pet Food. PetSmart. I love you. Excellent, excellent. She's from upstate New York. She's from Connecticut. Who's from out of the country? Like plenty of people, okay? I want to thank my guest today and also my co-host, my fantastic studio audience. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Tomorrow, breakout rapper K Camp performs his new hit song. Plus, I've got you covered with all the juicy hot topics. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye-bye.